I used Part to have a the... yellow-footed tortoise, and he looks so much like him, and that's, yeah, the concavity, uh -huh. I think is like a calcium. I thought we had a mud dog. Yeah. Just like no, when they mound tortoise. up, it's protein. The protein, yeah, the yeah. pyramiding. Oh, right. And he's not supposed uh, to eat any protein. Because he's very much a cow. A cow. <laughs> bringing all the dragonflies in and watering the hackberry trees because don't worry don't worry I felt, I, felt, I felt a mosquito so I was like better reapply Oh. 
cocaine. Too. Is uh, are they is the Gulf Coast toad also? Yep, we have is the same one. Or no, like no, the Gulf right. Coast toad is different, and it may also have some toxin, but it's I'm going that way. It's much milder mm -hmm. than the marine toad or the cane toad. Mm -hmm. huh? I wonder if now I'm thinking that might have come off of a tractor. <laughs> like if the guys drove the tractor or the gator through here. Wow. Oh, what is that? It is a nest. So like when we have school field trips and stuff, we talk to kids about home and habitat and different things. We let them get in this nest. Like if you were a bird, this is where you would live. This would be your, you know, your house. Yeah, your I, house. I knew your mother, your father, your brothers, your sisters would all, you'd eat here, play here, learn here, poop here, sleep here, like everything. And uh, so the kids usually get in here and they're like, seriously, like a one room house? Don't poop here. A lot of them complain, it would be too crowded. You know? oh, so I once saw an exhibit on my nest at Bramwick Gallery in DC. Yeah. And they had huge nests. Like, well, and you know, we had to choose to make one. The sign over there has a bunch of different sizes. Chin and pet them if you want. They're super friendly. They're box turtles. And the reason they're called box turtles is because these guys, if they weren't so chubby, mm -hmm. so she has a hinge here and a hinge here. Mm -hmm. So this part of her shell will flatten up and go flush against here. And this part of her shell will go flush against there. Oh, so okay. they get into their own little box and they can survive predators. You can see in the past where she actually had somebody take a chunk out of her shell right there and she survived. Wow. Yeah, you can see evidence of like a coyote or something eating, eating her in a previous life and of course she's missing a leg. And we don't know how that happened. Oh, wow. And they're both box turtles? Uh-huh. Yep. Yeah. Hi there. <laughs> These are native? They're native. Can I touch them? Yeah. Am I able to? From Australia. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. <laughs> and they usually live in rock crevices, so Aww. that tells me that they're not going to jump off at you. No, they're fine. <laughs> They'll hang out there all day. I wouldn't know about, about, about like a stranger touching me. <laughs> so I'm like, I'm sorry. <laughs> Some girl.